which is necessary for the country to have big economic and strategic power. But if there will be instability and anarchy in the country, the journey towards Vikasit Bharat will become more difficult. This is a huge challenge for us. And as a nation, we have to understand where the problem is. India's social fabric, parliamentary traditions, economy, and the armed forces are all four being severely attacked. We have united our diverse society through the hard-working people of this country over the generations. After independence, sir, Lord our Kimatana. constitution was put in place and it has put in place several arrangements to keep the society united. But today, through a conspiracy, the fault lines of our society are being exposed. Mistrust is being created against each other in the society through fallacies, lies, and deceit. Sir, efforts are being made to create, a, create such a situation that even a spark will lead to a lot of conflict. Similarly, the attacks on the armed forces are also being intensified. On some pretext or the other, or one pretext or the other, efforts are being made to divide the army and the soldiers. The strength of the army is its discipline and unity. As a part of a conspiracy, sir, this strength of the army is being challenged. Whatever is happening today regarding Agnivir is a part of this conspiracy. I'm afraid to say this. Apart from the society, parliament, army are all under attack. And even the economy is being attacked. When the people of India have really struggled to come out of COVID and are building a society on their effort. We as people representing them in this house at least should recognize the hard work of our people and not undermine India as a country which is growing at this rate. So entrepreneurship itself is being made a villain, sir, which is a shame. Hard-working entrepreneurs are building this country. The conspiracy is to end India's entrepreneurship culture even if before it fully blooms and thereby hitting at the India's Indian core backbone, which is the entrepreneurship, small and medium units, and enterprise is what is building India. Negativity is being spread in society towards all those who do business. And this hatred for business and wealth creators is spilling everywhere. There is a conspiracy to send a message to the entire world that India is not safe for in investors, sir. And this is not good. Rumors are being spread that Indian institutions cannot guarantee security to foreign investments, which is really a sad situation, sir. Strategic instability, economic instability, and political instability. Some forces are working to create this kind of an image of India, and we, we should all fight together that this kind of a in, instability building people should be told a lesson. There is a huge nexus. There is a huge nexus behind this, which is carrying out this conspiracy from the streets and even to the parliament. Yes. No debates without protests, which are aggressive protests are happening. You don't even hear answers which are being given. And I'm sorry to remind this honorable house that when the honorable prime minister stood up to speak, at most disruption happened and people did not want to listen to him. They were screaming. But parliamentary institutional mariyada ke upar unse first lecture aata hai. Jab all over the well they had people standing and people were forced or nudged or cajoled to say go into the well, go into the well protest. Sir, institutional respect, we have to keep it. Every countryman has come to the country come together to, find, to fight this conspiracy. We have to be alert, sir. And I take this opportunity to say this. Sir, the last matter, sir. Sir, the last matter. The last matter. 
The last matter, sir. Halwa. Okay. We should talk about it. Halwa. Sir, it pains me, sir. It pains me, actually. If only we know, if only we know the background with which halwa ceremonies are conducted before the budget is prepared. If only we know the background. Sir? If only we know the background of why halwa ceremonies happen, sir. It's a very important phase where Actually, in this country, halwa ceremonies have been happening for a very long time. Manne when the... Ye, kab se ho ye bhi bata do aap. Main bol rahe sir. Minto Road mein, Minto Road mein, jab printing press tha, jab budget udar print hota tha, tab se lekar ke, staff who get themselves inside that premises, बजट प्रेजेंट होने के बाद तक जब बाहर नहीं आते थे आज भी वो सिस्टम बरकरार है वो लोग अपने आप क्योंकि अंदर जाने के बाद टिल दे कान कम आउट टिल द बजट इज रेड ऑन दे ओन यूज टू ऑर्गेनाइज हलवा मेकिंग क्योंकि भारत में एक ट्रेडिशन है कोई भी अच्छा काम शुरू करने से पहले नींबू मीठा जमाने में दे यूज टू स्टे इन साइड ओनली नो फोन नो कॉन्टैक्ट नो लैंड लाइन इफ एनीथिंग वन ऑफिसर वॉज गिवन द पावर टू कम इन एंड गो आउट He would convey the message. कुछ कुछ नहीं और बाहर वर्ल्ड से संपर्क. अभी क्या हुआ? बोल रही हूँ. Please, please. अभी सर, five nights and four days nowadays they stay in the cellar of North Block, and this is essentially because the confidentiality of budget making has to be respected. So they go in, and before going in, we start. This halwa ceremony, and there are media reports, sir. One or two, which I one I'll read out, which captures it. Halwa ceremony, sir. One media report says, and I quote: "It serves as a recognition for the hard work and dedication of the finance ministry officials and staff who have been diligently preparing the budget documents, dating back to 1980. The halwa ceremony precedes the printing of the budget documents." Which take place at the basement of the North Block, a process that must be completed without any official leaving the premises until the budget formally is presented. So this is done more unquote. Now I again take one line: a sense of solidarity and teamwork among the team members. के लिए ये बना करते हैं. It's a. Uh, it also says it stands as a test.